Welcome back, everyone. I'm Happy Tangent, and we're playing Vampire. We're on episode 20 already. I don't know if that puts us... I don't know if we're halfway yet or not. This one's going to be a long one. Uh, I haven't checked any updates on the uh, length of time it takes to beat. But uh, last I checked, or the first time I checked, they had 24 hours. But that was for both doing all, basically 100% completion and the main storyline. So maybe... I, of course, am doing about 100%, but maybe if you skip some of the side, it's not quite that long. Well, we're just going to get straight to it. Super. Really shooting at us from down here. fast-paced start for us so yeah I'm going towards the lady in the distress if you remember there were two skulls uh, blocking the path it's like some of respawn they were blocking the path to get to her we freed her and I just want to make sure we do the next part what is this oh this is where I entered at really no reason to probably go this way yeah she's within here Thirty some meters this way. She must have moved. That is not safe, lady. You were in a nice little tomb area. Oh, you're still alive, but boy, you should not be walking around here. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Because it's not safe. Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. You're not dead, so I can vex you. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. We definitely need to come back for that one, for that green option. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company. And some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. I feel like I asked this one. Are you on your own? I have family. I've seen many deaths. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Was that just now unlocked? The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. 
I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees. But unfortunately, you don't see her around anymore. <laughs> yeah, I kind of killed her. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. I'm not humble either. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. I just remembered during that conversation that uh, I had actually forgotten to go around Pembroke Hospital because uh, when the day sh when the day shifted, um, everyone there, not everyone, but a bunch of them become fatigued. Uh, okay, this isn't the right area. Who else do I have something for? I don't think it's migraine. I think I have a headache medicine. Which might be Dryson. It's your diet. No, he needs fatigue. Here we got fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Everybody on here is fatigued. So that's three, four, five, six, seven fatigues I need. I don't even know how many I'm carrying on me. Not that many. Seven for, oops. Seven for fatigue. Cold. I have five, okay, I have five on me, but I think I was given some. Alright, so we're gonna run back to Pembroke, probably do a little time jump here. Here's our first guy to help out. Rakesh has got some fatigue. Let's give him a little medicine. Good evening, Doctor. There's some new stuff. Let's see what Can he you has tell to me say anything about recent about events. Oh, goodness me. This whole story is such a shame, sir. I have no idea how it happened. What are you talking about? Poor, poor Miss Jones. Her body is missing. Someone stole it. Miss Jones's body has gone missing? Yes. The body was brought here this morning. And now it's gone. Who could have stolen a corpse? That's exactly what I asked myself for the whole day. Who could do such a thing? These are terrible and shameful times, Dr. Reed. Probably nothing new, but while we're here... Please show me. Of course. It... I don't see anything, and... Oh yeah, we still gotta give you some meds, buddy. Hurry up, sit down. Tomorrow... It's locked, all right. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical... Well, the proxy. Don't take too many risks with your health, Miss... And that is a good thing. All right. Goodbye. Trying to help out the Pembroke area. Now to find a couple more people. Looks like here we got Ackroyd here. Let's give you some. I'm medicine. quite busy, right? I don't care if you're busy. What can you tell me about? Nothing like this would have happened if we'd had enough staff and proper shifts. So you don't think proper the shifts? Ours. We all hold fast here, Doctor Reed. Our methods may differ, but we are all trying to make a difference. 
Alright. Okay, let's you give you your medicine. Don't be ridiculous. Open I'm up. capable of dealing with this my when you are lucky. I wish this hospital could have first. Alright. I believe we said there's at least five more, but we only have three more medicine at the moment. We'll have to make more. Good Hello, evening, Harvey. Mr. Good evening. Uh, let's see what you have to say Please. about this. I heard Miss Jones call for help from her bedroom. With some loud noises, like people fighting. All of a sudden, it went quiet. And then the nurse started screaming. Do you know who the nurse was? Not sure. But I think it was Nurse Hawkins. Well, that definitely wasn't crying. That's good to know. That might actually is get there us, anything? Uh, really? Might find out a little more from you. Pippa. Are not the only. Well, perhaps you're right, Doctor Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Goodbye. For All right. I think I have three more to give out. We've healed him before. His mama, dearest. Milton outside. Hi, right, Beatrice. Oh, wrong person. Good evening, Doctor. I'm oh, well, whatever. What can you tell me about the reason? It's a disgrace. How on earth can patients be attacked in their own rooms? I mean, I mean you got me. I don't know. We don't exactly have security. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Do you require medical- Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well at- Despite what you uh, think you're in luck, Beatrice. Place. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Nothing new. You got a lot Good of hints we haven't gotten to. Let's check on your son here, though. Good evening, Miss. I'm okay. Yeah, we know you're okay. We're just seeing if you got anything new to tell us. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? I had shouting coming from the first floor. I was asleep when it started. Alright. I, I have to get clues are helping us. Like I said, Milton's outside, he's got fatigue, a couple other people's have fatigue. I talked to mainly Pippa for sure. There's Thelma, she's fine. There's Pippa and there's Thomas. Let's uh we'll do this first because we know we can heal him and Pippa's here at the time. He won't move, she will. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doc. Alright, probably nothing new to talk about. What can you tell me about Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder. How can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. That's it? You're not going to say any more? Goodbye. Not so much for going after clues. Good evening, Mr. Evening. Soldier. Not really. As long as you don't think you can do more. Goodbye. Alright, I think I'm probably out. Fatigue medicine. Let's see how many more need it. Um, wrong one. Yep, that's where we're at. Milton should still have it. Brannigan. Everyone else is probably recovering. Which should mean I need to go make two. A lot of fatigue. All right. So we'll, we'll make more than two. All right. We'll run up to the work page. First thing, we have to check on our plant. The flower's dying. Yep. It needs water. 
All right, fatigue medicine, we can make a crap ton. I wish you could tell that you want to make multiple. All right, in case something happens again, we'll just carry about 10 of them on us. And some colds, since they're also super cheap. We haven't ran across these two yet. I have a ton of stuff, though. Let's go carry a couple of them. We can make these. Whew, seeing how many it's going to use. I'm going to make one of each. Just in case we come across it, and that way we already have it with us. And we can actually make this. All the good it does me, but... Have we got anything here? Nope, still zero of three. Nothing to recycle. Surely this station... Yeah, we used it one time. Okay. I don't have enough XP for anything. Alright, off to find more people. Alright, should be Milton and Brannigan. So here's Milton. Good evening. Good evening. We'll check to see if he saw anything. What can you tell me? Someone killed Miss Jones in her room. And Mr. Hampton's gone missing. Doesn't take a genius to piece it together. You don't seem shocked Doesn't by mean it's right. this. Why should I be? Whoever did this must be long gone by now. And besides, he got rid of the old bag. Ooh. So he didn't like her. Uh, I'd yeah. wise choice, I know he's not going to have anything new to trade, but I can't help it. i got to check. I wish it would evening. boot me out evening, doing that, though. Do you need any medicine? I'm afraid I do. Our job is easy. I'm just... Sorry, everybody. Goodbye, when it comes to this medicine part, they're not going to give us any useful tidbits of the world, so we're just going to skip through the conversation. All right, Brannigan. Uh, she may be out here. She does go inside, but there she is. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. What was that? Is that highlighted? According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know I feel where like my patients are at risk, about this. and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, no, no. I'm a woman. Ackroyd or Strickland sent a letter to Swansea. That's what it says. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK medical register. Change is slow, but it will come. And you will always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. Preach on, Brandon. Do you require med- I will be- Nurse. You Alright. That should be everyone at Pembroke, so now let's get a sense of direction. So, one more. So, that's- see, everything's done here, it looks like. Alright, so, the other two sections I believe are blocked off. So, what do we have here? This is a Joe and Bear. This is like a go get treasure. Uh, we did hers. I swear we have two Brails. I don't know why it says Braille Alphabet 1 of 4. Oh, whatever. Maybe it's just because that's a start and we'll get the second one too. So, let us go. Let's just see which one's closer, I guess. I don't know if there's a quick way to check. Is one of these the map, the middle one? So that's clear past the church over there. That is a little bit closer. This one's probably about the same distance. A little bit farther, actually. All right, we'll go. We'll just start here. It seems to be the one that's a little closer. Oh, that is not the one I picked. Oh, no, it's rotating through, I think. Holy Crusade. Inspect the bodies. All right. All right, we'll... we'll. Make our way that direction. He's mine! Ooh, that guy just spawned right on top of me. Oh, you're the big boy. Eat that. I know it's not gonna kill you, but I got other shit to worry about. Yeah, I got over here too quick. Oh, man. That guy's hurting on that stretch. 
Good yoga, though. Yeah, on my way over here, I got here too fast. Uh, I was like, I thought there'd be enemies here. And then, sure enough, the thing, the guy spawned right on top of me. Too quick for him, I guess. Well, this is where we already were. Oh, you know what? This we man's just... far too old to be Samuel. Okay, I'd say we, maybe we just missed the body. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. You know what's funny? When I came in here, this guy was too old. This guy was a docker. Didn't see that guy. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Okay. Do they mean out the window or out the door? It's locked. Right. We do have us a trail. Skulls probably won't respawn here either. We did fight them recently enough. And you know, I say that and then there's some... As I... Oh, crap. Oh, load screen in the vamp right there. Feared. Got goosebumps for a second. Samuel, no other creatures that could work. Whoa, that looks cool. Bye-bye. Oh, you might not die. Oh crap! That's Samuel. Like, why is this guy taking so much damage? Oh, I'm out. Out of stam. Sorry, bud. And his diary flew into my hands. Apparently, twelfth of October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all the city needs. Tonight, I gave him all I have. My strength, my faith, my wealth. And if it's not enough, I know where to find more. 17th of October. Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odors. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood into a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed for a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him to find the light. I cried then and I cry now as I write these lines. For I have never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint, if not presumptuous, nor a sinful expression of pride. I wish I'll be able to serve as many souls as he does, for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. 19th of October. Tonight we both went to the whorehouses boarding the canal. I must admit I was very afraid to cross the path of Jezebel's, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker, but their customers quickly get scared when there is a mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odor was awful once more. The smell of Satan and the, the disease explained Father Whitaker. Before kneeling and praying for these two lost souls, the women were so frail and sick that they were not able to move when I threw the petrol on the blankets. Oh, damn. Their souls are now cleansed and purified. 21st of October. Father Whitaker is a saint. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and support. But all the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. The dead have no need of the terrestrial goods, but we need to eat, Father Whitaker and I. 27th of October. Tonight, for the first time, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we were went 10 days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice since the good man's work is never finished and Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed for from any corruption tonight. If not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I dare say we are a path to greatness. So, that's what happened to Sam. I'm sure we can say something to Father Whitaker. But, he came here. Eventually, of course, ran into Skulls. He got turned. But it's always funny that those people end up being the strongest. You know what? I'm tired of hearing these sounds up here. We're going to go in here and kill this guy. Where you at? I know I heard somebody in here. You know what? Take this. Leave you in here. Get out of the room before you explode. And go back in to clean up any mess you might have made. Hey, he didn't even drop nothing for me. 
Alright, report to Father Whitaker. Time warp! Alright, since leaving the uh, cemetery, I started thinking that a uh, Braille guy was probably closer. So we're gonna go visit him real fast. There's probably gonna be guys in here because there were a bunch in here the last time I did this. Yep, there's a dude right there. We're gonna ignore him. He can't be the only. Last time there was one, and then out of nowhere I had to fight like at least three. Alright, he's got a migraine. I don't think I can fix it, but. This is where they required a level 2 mesmerize, so we might be able to do it now. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. Oh, level 3. All right. All right, never mind. Hey, He's not uh, ready for us. Well, maybe by the time we finally can meet him, uh, we'll have the uh, other deal. All right, there's two of them. Good question. Oh, there he is. All right, we still got it, though. Oh, and more jump down. Whatever. Oh, crap, crap, crap. There you go. He's gonna blow up. Whew. Same thing as last time. About one guy there, and then all of a sudden there's four or five guys there. Okay, is anybody else here sicker than the first time? He's got the migraine. Alright, Poet's got the cold, and then a migraine. I can fix the cold, I believe. White Chapel. Good evening, Miss. And good evening to you. Do you need medical? It may. I understand. The nutrition of my. I'll just trying to keep you guys alive since I killed your nurse. All right, Forrest Whitaker. Or <laughs> Father Whitaker. I didn't even mean to make a pun reference or whatever. It just came out that way. Good evening. It's Father Whit. All right. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Okay, how much did you give me? I have had enough. Did it, did it pop up? I mean, I see the bunch of XP, but... Oh well. I really don't care about the money. So... Alright, so we had Alphabet Man, or well, Brel Man. Can't do him. Ooh, loot box. Loot boxes in this game. It's exactly what we didn't want. Alright, that's pro let's, how far away is it? Not that far. Alright, this is probably be the last thing we do. Can we break through here? Oh, shit! Uh, trying to, trying to grab him with my blood attack. Alright, 15 meters that way. Oh, man! Is that getting him or some other random guy? Okay, I didn't get him. Oh, you scared me, big wolf man. Was not expecting you around the corner. Drop any loot for us. Here's your purse. Oh, I see a guy inside here. Yep, he's only level 10. That's probably where the loot is. Alright, let's get inside. Alright, as far as I know, there's just one guy in here. We probably don't have our special ability back yet. 
Oh, long time before it's back. The wrong thing. Hope I haven't ran by it a few times. There we go. This could be the box. Lewis thought he locked. Small box. Barrett, there is no easy way to say it, so I'm going to be blunt. We can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, it will crush him, and then he will kill you. We had the same. We had some good time together, but let's face it. I'm never going to be your Jane Lewis. You know, and I know it too. So I'm ending this. Right here and right now. If you agree with my decision, I'm sure you'll find a way to be happy again. You, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been preserved. Until this day, I wish you'd forgive me. Goodbye for now, Jane Pearson. So, Barrett, apparently, a was letter from knocking Joe boots wife addressed with to Barrett Joe's Lewis. wife. It's terrible. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Oh, I, I gotta be nice, guys, so I gotta, dang it, I gotta give it to Barrett, and that'll be the end of our episode. Because if I give it to Joe, he's gonna want to kill him. If I give it to Barrett, he'll understand the error of his ways and let him know that, hey, I'm looking out for you, and then Joe will never be none the wiser. Yep. And that should be Colossus Joe, but no, 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 we want to... There we go. He's going to be standing right next to him as we say this. Sir. You never lose your focus, do you? Alright, first off, we'll just right. do the trade option. Show me. See if anything stands out. I mean, yeah, but we just don't have the money to... I mean, we could sell a bunch of stuff and make money. But none of this stuff actually sells for a lot. Oh, crap, I hate it. Does every time. You never Backs you all the way out. I found this box in an abandoned building nearby. I believe it belongs to you. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is mine. So, you face those looms that roam around now. Extraordinary. I suppose I was lucky. Luck is a commodity round here. Yours should be properly rewarded. About this package, it's not just tools and trinkets, is it? I want to be rude or anything after your kind gesture, but it's none of your business. I already know what it is. That's it? Just 50 shillings for keeping your secrets? Oh, here we go. Barrett. You had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. I could see, I was thinking about this in my run over here. Is Harry your son? Do you mean you're Harry's father? No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. That's very possible. Goodbye for now. Alright. Let's talk to Joe. And, uh... Let's see what happens here, but we don't plan on telling you them. again. Oh, yeah, I didn't see nothing. Goodbye. Let's check on Harry before we end. And <laughs> be like, Good yeah, evening. by the way, your yeah, dad's his other sure. dude. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, I'm not Bob. Forgive my bluntness. Oops. Why should this place That's exact? Okay. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Do 
you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. Why are you sad, then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. Goodbye, young. All right. Looks like we got that. So we He's did. Pain Let's see. Suffering in this world. Uh, Shu Xuan. I forget her name exactly, but the lady in the cemetery. We helped her. We found Samuel and killed him to let Father Whitaker know, and we got the box for uh, oh, the bear guy out there. And also, we did cure Even pretty much uh, so maybe good. one guy over here. And then the entire Pembroke Hospital, I believe we hit up all seven people, so. Alright. Uh, why am I not? Oh, I can't heal in town. Alright, anywho. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we, we knocked out a lot of side stuff. Didn't uh, didn't really uh, focus on the main story. So this time we're definitely going to go main story on the next episode. Go find, uh, what is it, Sean Hampton out by the docks. Maybe finally go back to that bar we were in to do exploring around in that area because that's something at the beginning of the game once we left there never went back so all right well i'm happy tangent please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode